Hey groups, it is so good to see all of you again today. Um, I wanted to start off with a quick announcement to make sure you're aware of what's going to be coming up this week. So on February 17, um, we have got a prayer service that's going to be happening at uh, the Foundry on Chicago Drive. Um, and that prayer service is going to be centered around praying over the youth in our community and abroad. Um, we understand how hard it's been on the students in our community with what life is happening right now. So we as a church want to just shower them with prayers. We want to invite the youth. We want to invite you as parents and everybody from the church to just kind of shower these students in prayer because we know some of the stuff that's going on in their lives now. So I want to give you guys a special invite um, to come to this service and pray with us over our youth. If you know people who are struggling, if you know of people who need to hear about this hope that we possess, um, I think it would be one of the, a, a great opportunity to invite those people to this service. So I want to give that special invite to you guys as group members and leaders to get the word out of what's coming up this week. Again, that's February 17 at 7 p.m. here at the Foundry. We're so excited for the service and kind of excited to see what God is going to be able to do through this prayer service. So that is the big announcement coming up, but let's dive right into group questions. Um, this week was a one-off week. It's kind of out of our normal series, but still spending time in Proverbs. Uh, we looked at love. And it was the weekend of February 14, so of course, we have to look at love. It's over Valentine's Day. And husbands, if that is news to you that this past weekend was Valentine's Day, you've got some digging to do. You've got to figure something out quickly here, guys. But, um, but we, we had this conversation about love and what love means, um, and even some of the things that love isn't. Uh, Eric referenced the story about um, the, the parable of the Samaritan and how he showed an immense amount of love to a guy he found laying on the road who had been beaten. Um, and the comparison was, okay, what, what does it mean to love in that way? What does it mean to love like Jesus loves? So um, that's a bit of what happened over this weekend, but let's dive right into group's questions. And I, I can't wait for you guys to be able to have some of these discussions on this. So first one, before we get started, I want you guys to read 1 Corinthians 13 together, and then we'll jump right into questions. So you just read 1 Corinthians 13 and read about what love is and what love isn't. Um, and this first question says this. The Holy Spirit gives different gifts to us as Christians. These gifts are meant to support the whole body of the church. We're all given different gifts. Um, and those gifts are to share the gospel. So I want you to read from Romans 12 and see what are some of those gifts. Question number two, um, how could these gifts that you just read about be, use, be misused in selfish ways? Maybe you recognize some of these own things in your life and you've been using those in selfish ways. Um, talk about what that would look like. Maybe, maybe you're using them to get ahead yourself, take advantage of yourself personally and not to bless other people. What are some um, gifts that may be misused? Question number three, um, as you were reading from 1 Corinthians 13, so that first passage we had you guys read, um, you may have read part of it, and I'm going to explain this, that describes what we sound like um, if we're doing great things but we're not doing them in love. Uh, do you guys remember what that sound was? It was the clanging of the symbols, right? That whole idea of clanging symbols. Why would the author of this passage use clanging symbols, the annoying sound of clanging symbols? Uh, why would he reference that and why would he make that correlation between doing good things but not doing them in love?
Question number four. Uh, and this is kind of a tricky one. It makes me think even as I'm reading this. Um, if you're not doing good deeds out of love, then what is your goal in those good deeds? Um, it even speaks a little bit to what we talked about in righteousness a few weeks ago. If we are not pointing to Jesus, what, what is our intention? So think about those things. If you're not doing good deeds out of love, then what is your goal? And we're going to get real personal right here with your guys' this group. Who have you had trouble showing love to in this past year? And then the last two questions, number six and number seven, I'm going to give you both at the same time um, so you can have some conversations and pray together. But it's this question, was there anything that you heard in the teaching or devotions um, that stuck out to you? Did, did God speak to you in a new way over the course of this teaching, through devotions, or maybe in your conversations right now that you didn't think about? Um, I'd love to have you guys as a group talk about some of those things. Um, and then talk about how you guys can be praying for each other this this week? What's going on in your guys' lives that your group could shower you in prayer? We're doing this big prayer service for the youth, but there are prayers that our groups need um, immensely right now, some that I don't even know about. So uh, make sure you're spending some time in prayer as a group. Um, and if you got extra time, I would love it if you dove into the Digging Deeper section this week. It kind of continues in that theme of love. Um, and I love how it's worded at the end of 1 Corinthians 13. It says, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. And we spent this whole weekend talking about love. Uh, but one right before love, I think also should get some attention this week because it's something that many people around us may be having a hard time finding, um, and that is hope. So if you have some time and want to talk about hope, uh, dive into those digging deeper questions. Um, again, I hope you guys have a great week, and I hope to see you on February 17 at 7 o'clock at our prayer service. Um, it's going to be a great time to gather together and pray over our students. So hope to see you there. If not, we will see you sometime soon. Have a great week, everyone.